Hello, everyone. I'm Ms. Ahal, principal at Kinlock Elementary, and I want to welcome you to our first ever virtual kindergarten roundup meeting, and we look forward to meeting all of you whenever that will happen. The purpose of this meeting is to give you an overview of what kindergarten at Kinlock looks like and how you can help to prepare your child for success. At this moment, the district is unsure about how school will look in the fall, and as the information becomes known, it will be communicated to you. I want to assure you that the district is aware of all of the safety procedures that need to be in place and that your child's care, health, and welfare is at the top of all the decisions that are being made. Um, I also want to let you know that if you have questions, there is a link on the YouTube page of which you are watching from, and you can click on that link and your question will come to us and we will answer questions at the end. So let's begin by meeting the people who will quickly become members of your family. Mrs. Garden? Hi, good afternoon. I'm Mrs. Garden, and I've been around at Kinlock for 19 years. Uh, I have two children, 14 and 11, and I enjoy seeing the kindergarten students grow and prosper through the year. Thanks. Ms. Rasatar. Good afternoon. My name is Ms. Rasatar. I have been at Kinlock for four years. I enjoy playing sports and teaching reading. I look forward to working with you to help your children grow both academically and socially. Thank you. Ms. Allen. Hi, I'm Lindsay Allen. This will be, uh, I've been at Kinlock for six years, um, teaching for nine. Uh, I also coach volleyball over at the high school. Um, I really enjoy um, early elementary and working with kids to help them become all they can be. Thank you. This is Talib. Hi, I'm Mrs. Talib. I've been at Kinlock for 10 years. I'm the ELL teacher there. If you ever have any questions or any help with any, if you need any help with anything, please don't um, hesitate to reach out. Thank you. And Mrs. Stevens, um, secretary at Kinlock Elementary School. Hi, as Mrs. Ahal said, I'm Mrs. Stevens. I have been with Kinlock Elementary for, I can't even tell you how many years already. <laughs> All of my children have graduated from Crestwood School District and have grown to be prosperous, healthy, young individuals, and we look forward to seeing your children do the same. Thank you. And lastly, Mrs. Laney. Hi, I'm Mrs. Laney. I have been a kindergarten teacher at Kinlock Elementary for 19 years. I've lived in the Crestwood area my whole life, and I still do with my husband and three children. Um, and I'm very excited to be the first teacher in Crestwood to teach the Young Fives class that we are starting this coming fall. fall. Um, very excited to be that, to, to take that over and teach Young Fives. If your child's birthday is between September 1st and December 1st, and you have signed a waiver so that your child can attend kindergarten, please consider the Young Fives class or possibly reconsider the Young Fives now, as many of you I spoke to back in February were confident that by the end of preschool, your child would be ready for kindergarten, uh, but then traditional preschool ended pretty abruptly. So you might have thought about changing your mind and you might wanna reconsider. The Young Fives class is designed to be developmentally and academically appropriate for our youngest students to see them thrive and be ready for kindergarten. Um, some of you have already registered for this class, and this is just an additional meeting for you. If you would like your child to be in the Young Fives or you'd like more information about it, please call the school at 313-278-4482. Leave a message, and we will get back to you as soon as we can to discuss this exciting class. During this meeting, as Ms. Zahal said, if you have questions about kindergarten or Young Fives, uh, you can use the link below and send your questions, and we will address them at the end of the meeting. Um, so now let's take a virtual tour of Kinlock Elementary, peek into the classrooms to see what a, daily, day, what a day looks like for a kindergarten student. In addition, things that you can do to prepare your student and the immediate supplies that they will need will be addressed. So sit back and enjoy the next few minutes. Roll it, Ms. Allen. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Kindergarten Roundup at Kinlock Elementary School part of the Crestwood School District. We're going to go over some things that you may be able to expect in the fall. 
as you come to our school. In the main office, you're gonna find Mrs. Stevens. She's the school secretary and you'll hear from her later. She's always ready to help students and parents and she's the one that'll be able to answer any questions about registration um, and she's gonna be your go-to person um, throughout your time here at Kinlock. These are some other friendly faces and important people in our building. We have Nurse Tamika, who you'll talk to about allergies and other health needs. We have Mrs. Talib, our ELL teacher, who will help with Arabic translation, as well as support um, our English language learners. We have Mrs. Rapai, our special education teacher, who will work with some students. Um, we have Miss Lisa, who helps in the lunchroom with lunch and breakfast every day. And Mr. Scott, the custodian, who really keeps uh, the building clean and everything working. We have our kindergarten teachers, Miss Allen, Mrs. Garden, Miss Rasatar, and Mrs. Laney, who will be our young fives teacher this year. As you can see, kindergarten has changed from when you were a kid. It's very academic. Kids are going to learn reading, writing, math, science and social studies this year. By the time they leave us in kindergarten, they're going to be writing multiple sentences, reading books, adding and subtracting, counting by ones up to 100, counting by tens, and many other things. Kindergartners also have physical education, computer class, and music class each week. They'll also get to go to the media center and check out books every week. At Kinluck, we also have breakfast available every day starting at 8.15. And we also have hot lunch available every day. Halal choices are also available to kids that may need that. Or if students don't like that, you may bring a lunch from home. Um, just make sure that it's in a lunch box, kind of like the one that's pictured. Um, that will fit into a backpack pretty nicely and that is labeled with your name first and last. Again, everything should be labeled with your child's first and last names and it even helps um, once you know your teacher's name to put the teacher's name on there. Um, it's really hard to track down materials based on the whole school and kids with lots of similar names. Um, and it really, really helps um, if a kid misplaces a water bottle or um, their backpack or their lunchbox. If that stuff is labeled, it's so much easier to help find its home. A student backpack should be a large size, um, one that can fit a folder and a lunchbox and all of their supplies that they may need. Um, students are also highly encouraged to bring a water bottle this water bottle must be spill proof. Um, it can be like the ones pictured or they have the ones with the flip top. Um, just make sure your child can use it independently. It is um, not breakable, so no glass. Um, and that, that is also labeled with their first and last names. Many kids will have the same water bottles. Also, it's important for your child to be dressed for the weather. Students go outside at lunchtime, they go outside for recess, they wait outside um, before school. So make sure that they're dressed appropriately for the weather. With good tennis shoes usually, closed toed shoes, um, things that they can run around in safely. Here's some frequently asked questions um, from many parents throughout the years. How can I prepare my child for kindergarten? The biggest thing you can do to help prepare your child is to work on their independence. Children should be able to pack their own backpacks. They should be able to put their own jackets on. Um, they should be able to read their own name, be able to recognize it. I know their first name and their last name because there may be a child with the same first name and that gets a little confusing. Help them work on writing their name. And then in your packet, there's also some papers and forms um, on things that you can start working on with your child, like letters and numbers and things like that. But the biggest thing is working on their independence. Teachers are not able to help every student accomplish everything every day. So they need to be able to do those things on their own. When will I find out what teacher my child has? 
um, that will be sent out at the end of the summer before school starts. So um, around in August. Are there bathrooms in the rooms? Some of the rooms have bathrooms, some of them do not. Um, children will learn how to ask to use the bathroom. Children will learn where the bathrooms are and the bathrooms are very, very close by. Will there be time for snack? Absolutely. Children are encouraged to bring a healthy snack every day. Healthy meaning no cookies, cupcakes, things like that but different teachers also have different snack policies. So make sure you look at the beginning of the year paperwork for that. Will my child have nap time? No, there is no nap time in kindergarten at Kinlock. Um, however, we do have a, a rest quiet time after lunch where they're able to kind of decompress. Can my child take the bus? Depends on where you live. Um, transportation will contact you um, with your paperwork or you may ask them if you have any other questions. How many students are in a class? Our class numbers are usually around 30, um, with the young fives class being a smaller number. But as you can see, we have a lot of fun in kindergarten. There's so many of us and we have a really good time. We learn lots of things. Um, but still know how to have a good time. We have Officer Walters who comes and visits sometimes. We can't wait to meet you. We can't wait to see you in the fall. We're gonna have a great year. Thank you, Ms. Allen. Now that you know what school looks like, you have one more very important task to complete so your child can begin school in August or whenever that will be and however that will look. And that is the packet of paperwork which was delivered to your house by school bus. Mrs. Stevens, our school secretary, will talk about the paperwork in that packet. Hi parents. Just so you all know, when you look inside of those pack the packet, I placed forms in two different um, sets of paper clips. The first one has a magnet um, along with the student handbook, concussion form, and the bus rules. These forms you got, and they are in this packet, because you're going to be signing the same exact form, but that's going to be in your file. It doesn't make sense to me that you're signing a concussion form and I'm keeping the concussion form in a file and you won't know what the signs and symptoms are down the road. So you're signing those. Those are for you to keep. The teachers did, like they said in the video, they did put some little worksheets in here, things to help your child get ready for kindergarten. That is all in this packet also. Please keep that packet of information for you to keep at home. This is not something that I need. This will answer most of your questions down the road. Okay. Now when we go to the second packet. These are the forms that need to be filled out and returned to school. And they start with the white sheet of paper that says consent for disclosure of immunizations. This form is actually a form from Wayne County Health Department. You are giving them permission to review your child's immunizations. If there's any discrepancies with them, if they have any questions with that, you are giving them permission to give you a call to discuss that with you. With HIPAA laws, everything ha they have to have um, authorization to talk to you. So um, signing that one will give them permission to do so. Okay. The next one is our concussion form. This one is a form from the state of Michigan. Once again, it's going over the signs and symptoms of a concussion. You are signing this that you are acknowledging that you received the information. Most of this does not pertain to elementary. We're not playing tackle football on the playground. We're not doing, you know, high level basketball where kids are going to fall and get a concussion. This, I will call you if a child is hurt and there's a visible bump, um, cut, something major, we will call you. Usually everything is put a Band-Aid on it. The kids need a hug, an ice pack, and they're off uh, wanting to go back to the class. I'm a grandma. 
I'm a mom. I would want a phone call if it was major. You will get a phone call if it's major. Okay. The next two forms are the pink forms. These have to do with the computer lab. The first one is the acceptable use policy. This is written by someone I don't know. Highly educated. It is not kid friendly. Mrs. Dupre will go over the um, computer rules several times with the children throughout the year. Classroom teachers will go over the rules with the uh, children. Um, this is high level information. We will put it in simpler terms when it comes down to the beginning of the school year. The next one is the Google form. Where you see parent guardian signature, it's that you, you want to give permission for the child to use Google. We are only using Google when it is coming to instruction or the education of your child. This is not their own personal Google account. They're not gonna be able to Google you know, whatever they want. This is an educational tool for our children only. Okay, so you want to give permission for that. The next two forms, the orange form and the yellow form, are just simply stating that you received the bus rules and the handbook, okay, which is in that other packet that you received. The next form is your privacy rights. We don't have a directory, so you don't need to worry about releasing any information. We do not release your names, your phone numbers, anything to parents. If someone wants to talk to you, I will take their name and number. I will call you and let you know that that person is uh, getting a, wants to get a hold of you. The only exception would be if the PTA needs to get a hold of you because, say, you didn't check a size off for a T-shirt that you ordered or you underpaid or overpaid at a fundraiser. That's the only time that someone will call you and that is just a PTA and it's their um, executive board members who call you, okay? Photographs and videotape. If you check this box, your child will not be allowed to be in any of the videos or anything that the teachers post throughout the school years. Teachers do put a lot of pictures of the children up in the classroom in the hallways um, anywhere that they would have their picture taken, if you check this box, your child will not be able to be in that picture, okay? The last one is the class photograph. If you check this one, your child is just not going to be in the yearbook either. Please either uh, draw a line through this if you don't care about any of them, but sign it so that I know that you received this piece of paper and you were advised of your rights, okay? The last two forms are just general information forms, the family information sheet and kindergarten information. Uh, the teachers will come and look at this if there is an issue with a child and they wanna know if they're a left-handed or a right-handed student. They're not gonna know that if they're walking in the door and they don't wanna push something on a child and they'll come here and look at this sheet. So just uh, answer the questions to the best of your ability, okay? The last thing that we're going to need from you before kindergarten starts, before placement, is we are going to need immunization information. I don't know what it's going to look like this year. I don't know if the state's going to change any mandates with getting everything in there with the COVID and being able to get into your physician's offices. Please contact your physician as soon as possible. Tell them that you're trying to get prepared for kindergarten. See if they can get you a copy of the updated immunizations. If your child needs uh, an appointment, you may need to make it now and you may not get that appointment for two months. So please do that as soon as possible. That is the main thing and that's a Wayne County Health Depart uh, Department's mandate. So that's very important. If you have any questions, you can call the school. Um, our number is on all of the forms. We will try our best to answer all of your questions as quickly as possible. And we look forward to seeing you in the fall. Have a great day. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Zahab, if you have any questions, 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 you can call the office. The number is all available. You can also call the office. But I will give you a call. 278-448-2. 
أو فيكم تتصلوا في على 2 7 4 3 0 6 0 بس ما بنعرف إذا تلفنتوا إذا ما تركتوا مسج، سو لازم تتركوا مسج تتركوا اسمكم ورقم تليفونكم ونحن بنعرض نتصل فيكم بيوصلنا إيميل بهالشيء. بس تخلصوا الأوراق فيكم توصلوهم على المدرسة بين الـ 11 والوحدة بنبلش ناخذ الأوراق يوم الجمعة 29 الشهر وجمعة الجاي من يوم الاثنين ليوم الجمعة. يعني من أول الشهر لخمسة الشهر وكمان بين الـ 11 والوحدة. ما فيكم تفوتوا لجوا على الاوفيس بس رح يكون في صندوق موجود بتفتحوا اول باب وبتحطوا الاوراق يا لازم تعطونا اياهم كل الاوراق لازم يكونوا واصلين على المدرسه يعني اخر شيء عندكم اياه لخمس الشهر الساعه واحدة مس ستيفنز رح تكون موجوده بهذه الايام كمان من 11 للوحدة اذا عندكم اي سؤال اتصلوا على الرقم وهي بتحكيكم بالنسبة للكوفيد ممنوع حدا انه يفوت على المدرسة وممنوع نحكي معكم شخصيا. سو so بليز اذا عندكم اي سؤال اتصلوا فينا شكرا. Thank you Mrs. Talib and Mrs. Stevens. Parents, if you haven't already taken a moment, please read through all of the information in the packet. If you have questions or concerns about the paperwork, the Young Five classroom or kindergarten, please call 313-278-4482, which is the school office, and you'll have to leave a message, um, and we will get back to you, or you can call 313-274-3060, which is the number to the ELL classroom, which would go to Mrs. Talib. So if you need um, translation, um, you can call Mrs. Talib. Um, and you have to leave a message with your name, your question, and a return phone number and we will call you back. When you complete the forms, you'll return them to Kinlock Elementary School, which is located at 1505 Kinlock, between 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock p.m. on the following days. Mrs. Stevens will be in the office for all office hours on May 29, June 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Again, between the hours of 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock. All forms or packets are due by Friday, June 5th at one o'clock. And we ask that you do this so that we can get students placed in classrooms and know what our counts are going to be. I mean, due to the COVID close down, um, you know, we're running a little behind and we want to make sure that everybody uh, gets the attention that they're going to need. Um, Again, if you come to the school office and you drop off your paper, your packet, you can, uh, you'll buzz and Mrs. Stevens uh, will let you in. You cannot come into the school office. There will be a basket in the little vestibule there um, and you can put the packet into that uh, basket. If you have a question for Mrs. Stevens, you can call her via cell phone um, and she can help answer questions uh, at that point as well for you. Uh, due to the COVID precautions, there's no face-to-face -face contact. Um, so that's what the return will look like. The faster you get those forms into us, um, the better it is, and we can be ready to go. So with all of that, Mrs. Laney, do we have any questions? Yeah, we've had um, several questions come in. The first couple re, um, are about sanitation. If school is in the fall, what will the schools look like and how will the sanitation be in the building? Um, and will there be screening pretty much all of about the COVID pandemic? And we can assure you that the sanitation level will increase and be, we will be on top of that. And there'll be high levels of um, disinfecting and sanitation. We don't know what that will look like yet, um, what the school looks like in the fall yet, but regardless, if we are there, the sanitation levels will be increased and consistent. Um, the next one is if we are virtual, uh, will you share with the parents how we can help in the children's learning? Yes, um, the packet you have has a blue trifold paper that tells you everything that they need to know by the end of kindergarten. Our Common Core State Standards are listed in there. Um, and then the teacher, we've been doing this for 10 weeks and working very closely with the parents virtually so that we're both on the same page and helping the children be successful. Um, the next one, Ms. Zahal, is how do I know if my son is registered? They should have 
receive the packet? Yes, if you receive the packet, um, then you know your child is registered. Um, but if you want to double check that, you can call the school office and leave us a message and Mrs. Uh, Stevens will check that and confirm back with you. Go ahead, Mrs. Stevens. Uh, you, when you um, go to the Board of Education's office, you will receive a half sheet of paper. It's a pink registration. That is when you know that you are completely re or you're registered with them. Now, do understand that you may have been placed on an overflow status. We don't know yet if we have room in our building. We have to wait to see the drops in the movements, um, possibly Young Five. So you may have been registered for Highview or Hillcrest, but you will possibly come back to Kinlock if we have the openings. Thank you. Um, the next question is, what is the age range for the Young Fives class? As I stated, that's September 1st. The child turns five between September 1st and December 1st. Um, that's the prime age for the Young Fives class. Um, there's another question, some specific questions on some individual children that we can address and we will email you back a response as soon as we can. Um, there's a question, Ms. Zahal, can I put my son in the Young Fives class if they have an August birthday? I think the answer to that is no. It has to be September 1 through December, December 1. December 1st, okay. Um, um, the next question is, are the meals included or do we prepay for the meals? Um, we are a uh, Title I school. So uh, at this point, uh, meals are uh, free to everyone, and you will get more information on that uh, in September when all of that paperwork comes home. So and, and the, the quick answer is no, you don't have to prepay meals. Um, the next question is about, do we offer any programs for two and a half year olds? And if yes, what is the cost? Our district website tells you exactly what preschool programs that we offer. If you go to our district website, you can get a lot of information on it. We have a variety of preschool programs. Um, when were the packets sent? And what if I did not get my packet yet? Uh, the packets went out a couple of weeks ago and I would suggest, and Mrs. Stevens, go ahead, you can answer that one. All the packets were mailed out or given to transportation to take to, to your home. I have not received anything back, so um, email me or call me tomorrow and give me your name or the child's name and I'll look into it and see um, what the status is. But you should have received them uh, last week. Um, the, well, the questions are still coming. My screen keeps yeah. jumping. Um, are, is there any word on having half of the time in class and half of the time virtually? I think we have plans A, B, C, D maybe until we know more from the state. Our administrators are working very hard to come up with a lot of different plans. So nothing is set in stone and it will change daily at this point, but we have a lot of plans in place. Um, can we turn in the paperwork if we don't have the health appraisal completed yet? Yes, Mrs. you Stevens? can. Yes, please Most do people, so. <laughs> yes, turn in that paperwork as soon as you can, but also contact your physician um, a lot. Like I said before, uh, I know for myself, they, my doctor was not taking a full schedule. So if you have an upcoming birth date and your child is going to need that five-year-old immunization, you want to at least get an appointment in there so that you're not behind the ball on that one. And um, do we have a tentative start date yet? Uh, you know, I'm not sure what that is. Well, that will be posted on the um, district web page and that will come to you in um, packets, a letter that you will get in uh, August to let you know what the date is. Um, I don't have that information right now. It still was being discussed. So um, you'll, we'll post that for you. And then lastly, there's a couple of individual situations of names that you're checking and we will check the list that we have and myself or someone will email you as soon as we can to confirm your registration on these individual children. Okay. That's all of them. Perfect. Um, just to go back to the start date, I know this year we are starting before Labor Day. So um, just to give you that heads up and to um, when we have that final date, I will let you know. One so more question just came. Sorry. 
That's okay. Um, is there any way to get the application package now if they didn't receive one? Yes, they can go online. There's a, if you go to the district webpage, the Crestwood Schools um, district webpage, there's a link and it is the enrollment uh, forms. But if you've already enrolled and you've been to the board office and you have the pink slip, as Mrs. Stevens said, and you didn't get the packet for some reason, call um, the school office and we'll look into it. And if we need to get that out to you, we will get that out to you. Okay. I also have extra packets in the office so they can pick them up too. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. One more. Yeah. Uh, what about the student ID number on the pink page? Pink paper, there's a student. What about the student ID number? All I need there are parent signatures and students' names. They don't need to worry about IDs, addresses, any of that stuff. Ah, somebody's filling out the form. <laughs> Good job. Uh, whoever you are. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Any other questions? We'll give it a, a couple seconds here to see if from those forms. Those are always a little challenging. Um, you're right, like student ID, who would know? <laughs> <laughs> no more questions. Those are no all more. great. Oh, wait, wait, here comes one. Okay. Is the Young Fives a replacement for kindergarten? No, the Young Fives is not a replacement. It's a more preparation for kindergarten. Uh, about five years ago, the state of Michigan changed the entry date to September, to September 1st. And the state law is actually that you need to be five by D September 1st to be go to kindergarten. So many districts offer a Young Fives. Um, and we've always signed that waiver. So there's the waiver, there's a waiver available, but we now offer the Young Fives. It does not replace kindergarten, however. From Young Fives, the, ch the children will go to kindergarten the next year. And just be aware that it, with the Young Five program, um, you know, I know right now people are thinking, oh, you know, my child is mature and they've been to preschool and, you know, they're ready to go. But you need to think further down the line with that because you don't want to have a very young child in high school. Mrs. Laney, would you like to speak to that? <laughs> no, we talked about that for those at our informational meeting in February. And not only am I a strong proponent of this as a professional educator, but as a mother, I, my three children are September, October, and November. And all went through Young Fives. And uh, I'm reaping the benefits now as they're older because you have to look long term. Like Ms. Zahal said, you don't necessarily want them in the youngest kid in middle school or the youngest one in their high school or not even, you know, 17 going off to college. So mm -hmm. you have to think futuristic. Um, and in the Young Fives class, it will be, you know, geared towards your children's individual needs. So if you are thinking, well, they went to preschool, they know all their letters already, they're already starting to read. Well, then I, it will, they'll be taught and they will continue to grow. No one will go stagnant or regress. Um, it, they will be met, their individual needs, just like in every classroom, will be met, and they'll continue to excel, no matter their academic level. But they will also gain that extra year for their social emotional, and that's really what the benefit is with the uh, young fives, young fives because, yes. right, give them that extra time to grow. Any other questions, Mrs. Laney, coming in? Uh, another one that Sim, I just answered that one. Do they go to first grade after Young Fives? No, they go to no. kindergarten after Young Fives. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Anything else? Nope. And, and these, I think we stated this, but that link to the questions is open all summer. So if another question comes up after this pre presentation is over, you can still go to the link. The questions will still come and we will email you an answer within 24 hours. So um, don't think that you missed the opportunity if you didn't ask the question today. You can ask the questions throughout the whole summer and we uh, assure you we'll get back to you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Then with all of that, everyone, um, I'd like to thank you, parents, uh, for taking the time uh, to join us for this meeting. We look forward to meeting all of you soon. Again, I'm just going to reiterate, you know, we're all under the, um, you know, the, the COVID uh, requirements here and, you know, safely opening the state that we get back to some sort of normalcy. Nobody has any idea what that normalcy is going to look like or what school is going to look like in the fall. I know Mrs. Laney has mentioned, you know, that there are some, you know, ideas. We are actively, you know, um, 
brainstorming and gaining information and looking at what's going to be the best for our students in order to maintain good health. So bear with us on that. Uh, you know, that information may not come to you until August to know what school is going to look like. Uh, information will be posted on the Crestwood District Facebook page, the Kinlock PTA Facebook page, and the Kinlock Elementary School webpage and the Crestwood District web pages uh, for updates. Those are some additional places you can find information. With that, I'd like to wish you well. I hope your summer is peaceful. We look forward to meeting you and stay safe. Take care, everyone. Thank you.